So, uh, you cats all copacetic here? What's she talking about, Slim? <laughs> she wants to know if we want anything else. Uh, what's the proper response? <laughs> Say, we're cool, chick. We are cold, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> what's so funny? <laughs> Never mind, Crowbar. Did they really talk like this in the 1950s? <laughs> they really did, Slim. Well, I say it is. Oh, yeah? Looks like trouble. Yeah, and not our business. Don't forget our mission. Right. The researchers on the Ganymede colony are waiting for the new security computer modem. And we better go and deliver it. We'll see about that. Oh, no. Stop. Oh. Excuse me. No problem, ma'am. Easy, boys. We don't want to break up Luna's newest hotspot, do we? Thanks for the help, soldier. Anytime, ma'am. Anytime at all. Did you give him the shot? Well? Yes. Even now, the cyberbug is growing in his system. When it begins transmitting, we will know everything Colonel Paul Corbin sees and hears. Sure appreciate you letting us ride along with you, Didi. Hey, no problem, boy. Always glad to help Starcom. Oh, I'm not so sure about this, Dash. Regulations say... Listen, our orders are to take this new computer modem to Ganymede in one piece. And it's better if we do it without calling attention to ourselves. Right. A military convoy would just invite an attack by the Shadow Force. This way, they'll probably ignore us. Yeah, they can't attack what they don't know about. Can't attack what they don't know about. It works. We can hear and see everything Corbin sees and hears. Of course it works. But if Emperor Dark finds out... He won't. We'll disable the convoy and be in and out before Dark suspects a thing. Then I can tap into Starcom's computer and it won't matter what Dark thinks. My power will be as great as his. What's that rock doing there? It's not on the charts. Your deflectors can handle it, can't they? I wish. 
It's too big. We're in trouble. Well, gang, looks like we get a chance to earn our ride. Power deploy. Make the lock off. Starmax 1, you are clear for launch. Roger, Nanook. Bogey inertia equivalent at 6-9-er-G. Copy. And tracking beams are locked into phase pulse as of now. Coming up on optimum range. On my mark. Roger. Weapons locked on target. Now. Maintain firing. Got it. Oh. Nice shooting slam. Ah, uh, a piece of cake. Thanks for the help, boys. But it looks like one of the pieces got through. We've got a ship with a damaged drive. Uh-oh. I can't believe something big enough to do that much damage got through. Yeah, we blasted that rock into gravel. Tell me all about it. A crowbar? Where'd you go, crowbar? You really are in space. Yuck! Huh? Oh, sorry. I was just remembering our last meal on Luna. Let me guess. That woman in the cafe, right? Ah, oh, well, yeah, actually. She sure was beautiful. It wasn't that so much, but I felt something with her. It was as if I knew her from somewhere, like we were old friends. Old enemies, you mean. But I think I'm getting to like you, Paul Corbin. The repairs are done. Time to get moving again. Uh-oh. Now what? One of the robot ships has gone haywire. It's getting a signal from auxiliary control. Can you override it? That's a negative. It's coming back right at us. We've got to get to auxiliary control. Rolak, they're on their way towards you. Scramble the control codes and get out fast. While they get to the controls, we better get to the Starmax. Power deploy. I hope Crowbar can get control of that thing. I'd hate to destroy a year's worth of supplies for Ganymede. Somebody has scrambled the codes. Can you fix it? I don't know. Maybe. We can't lose that ship. Aim for the drive. We'll have to cripple it if Crowbar can't get control. Affirmative. Locking sensor. Aiming onto starboard drive tubes. How you doing, Crowbar? Not so good, Dash. Somebody did a real number here. Hurry up, pal. Or we're gonna have to shoot this bird down. 
copy, Slim. I'm working on it. You're sure the Nanook is in no danger? Positive. The robot ship will take out half the convoy, but not the Nanook. Good. We don't want anything to happen to the new modem, do we? We can't wait for Crowbar. It's getting too close. Better take it out, Slim. Affirmative. Stand by. Firing particle beams now. What happened? My weapon systems are down. We can't shoot anything. Dee Dee, somebody sabotaged our weapons. Change course. Move your convoy. Uh-oh. Somebody has put the ship into tracking mode. We'll have to ram it. Too late. We'll never make it. We can't stop it, buddy. It's still coming. Give up, Crowbar. You will never make it. Oscillators, 60. Down IF. Up 200. Rectify RF modulator. In and... Modulator influx, go. My basic feedback, eight, steady. Seven, six, five, four. And terminal lock on as of now. Whoa! That's got it. Oh, brother, he stopped it just in time. Hey, uh, Crowbar, you cut that kind of close, didn't you? I had three seconds left, didn't I? Blast you, Corbin. But you're very good, aren't you? You intrigue me more and more. Got him! I found our intruder. He's on C deck, module 69. Stowaways are definitely against regulations. Especially when they try to blow up our ship. Let's go have a little talk with our mysterious friend. Romac, they're on to you. Go. Breathe. Nobody home. It's like he knew we were coming. But how? Dee Dee, our guest has departed. Can you find him again? Unless he monkeys with the security system, I'll find him. Could he disable the security system, Crowbar? Not unless he knows that the security wires are coded blue and green. went down right after I talked to you. Yeah, it's almost like whoever this guy is, he's one step ahead of us. Well, let's see how he does against a Starcom search pattern. I'm gonna see if I can get the security system back online, if that's okay. Might as well. Nothing else seems to be working. I just had a thought. Could we be bugged? A hidden transmitter. Hmm, that might explain it. I'll go get Crowbar. Let him work on the security system. I can run a scan for internal transmissions. Why don't you stop playing with that and show me what your friends are up to? This ought to do it. Fire it up! You're saying Crowbar is carrying a hidden transmitter? Not carrying it, Slim. As far as I can tell, it's inside him. Inside him? It must be some kind of viral or bacterial radio transmitter. A cyberbug. Wonderful. 
How do we get rid of it? I don't think we can. Whoever did this gave us a Trojan horse we can't get rid of. Wait, I have an idea. Remember the old speed code Crowbar made up a few years ago? Calling Vondar, are you in position? I am here, woman. You may begin your fake distress call in eight hours. You're so kind. Say again, I did not copy that. I said just what I had in mind. Let's do it. I hope this works. <clears throat> I got it. I got it here. I got it here. Now. Uh, get out of here. Okay. Uh, it's working. Huh? He understands. Blast it. What's wrong? I'm not getting anything but blackness and beeps. Romac, you'd better get out of there. I've lost contact with the cyberbuck. Where's Crowbar? Waiting in the conference room. It's real quiet in there. Good. He won't be sending any information. We've also picked up a ship in distress call outside the Stevens asteroid cluster. Shouldn't be anybody there. We'll have to check it out. Regulations. It sounds odd to me. It could be a trap. We'll check it out. But we'll do it carefully. I have an idea. has been breached. Something's up. Looks like we'll have to act sooner than we thought. Hey! Hey! Ask him if he's sure he wants to do this. It'll be dangerous. Power deploy. Sounds like a fighter engine. It can't be. You didn't see any fighters on the freighter, did you? The cyberbug is malfunctioning. But no matter. Vondar will take them. Hmm. Come on, crowbar. Turn. How's it going, Slim? Almost to the Stevens Buster. Good. Let's show them where he is. It's the Stevens Cluster. They must be trying to sneak away. We've got to catch them. No! has come calling. There's only one of them. What are the others? What? 
ship in distress, all right, wouldn't you say, Slim? That's a vermin now. You get that? Whoever is spying through me? Looks like your Colonel Crowbar outsmarted you, Malvana. Yes, he did, didn't he? Well, one battle doesn't win the war. There'll be another time. How do you feel? Fine. The medics say you're cured of the cyberbug. They got the specs for the anti-cyberbiotic from Starcom MaxiFrame using the new modem we delivered. I guess maybe you'll stay away from strange blondes in the future, eh? Maybe. Then again, maybe not.